Hey guys, I'm Richard Holdner. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about the 4.8 liter LS motor. You know, the little engine that could. Let's talk about torque production, or basically the lack of torque production on the small motor. That's right, it's very difficult to make torque with the little motor, which is why they often benefit from things like converters and gears. Come on, Richard, why are you hating on the 4.8, or should I call it the 4.0 great, the best LS motor ever made? Well, that's maybe something we can argue about, but the 4.8 liter does have a lot of good things going for it. In fact, it shares a lot of that with the larger siblings, the 5.3 liter, the 6.0, the 6.2, and heck, even the 7 liter. The thing that they all share, that they all have in common, is they all respond very well to performance upgrades, and the 4.8 liter is no exception. If you go to the wrecking yard, grab one of these motors, and put cams and springs in, which is what we normally do on these LS applications, you're going to pick up big power. And the 4.8 liter also, the one thing that the 4.8 liter does do that the others don't do nearly as much is it trades off a lot of low speed power. Now sure on the 4.8 liter you put a camshaft in it and you can pick up a lot of power, but you're going to do so at a fairly high engine speed. That's right. On our cam test I'm going to show you, we ran it all the way out to 7,000 RPM. Yes, on a junkyard motor, 7,000 RPM, and that's where the thing wanted to make peak power, despite the fact that it had stock heads and a stock intake manifold. So it wants to run at high RPM, which we all like and is very cool. The downside of that on the 4.8 liter is you trade off power down low. And the way to get over that, because it's very difficult to improve low speed torque on the little 4.8 liter, short of adding boost, but the way to get around that, to push the RPM up where the 4.8 liter is making more and more power with your modified version, is to add a high speed stall converter and gearing. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, as we covered in the uh, introduction, the 4.8 liter being the smallest version of the factory LS engine family, one of the things that people should consider greatly when they have this motor, especially when you're doing performance upgrades, is gears <laughs> and or a converter, a higher stall speed converter. And this is more important on the 4.8 liter, I think, than the other ones. On the 5.3 liter, the 6.0, 6.2, obviously a 7 liter, and any kind of stroke or variant of all of those things. And the reason for that is the smaller displacement, obviously, Everybody wants, especially in truck applications, but even in a car application, they always want more torque. They talk about wanting more horsepower, but really what they want is when they step on the gas, they want the car to go. And the problem with the 4.8 is that even though it responds very well to performance upgrades, which we're going to show you right here, the problem is that when you do the things that you do to other 5.3 liter or 6.0 or any kind of a stroke or variant of the bigger motors, is that it doesn't add a bunch of low speed torque. You can get a little bit from things like uh, the right, maybe the right kind of camshaft, um, cylinder head upgrades, intake manifolds, long tube headers, tuned, those kinds of things. But the reality is what's going to happen is on the 4.8, there's more of a trade-off in power from things like camshafts and cylinder heads and stuff because you're going to almost always lose low speed power and that's where the torque converter and gears come into play. So let's take a look at this. So we've got a 4.8 liter. This one was basically stock. It did have a piston upgrade because we had long since hurt the pistons, but it had the stock camshaft, stock intake manifold that had long tube headers the way that we normally run it on the dyno. It, it had, a, you know, it was basically a stock version with a piston upgrade. And so when we run this thing in stock trim, the way that we run it on the engine dyno, it made 344 horsepower and 344 or 45 foot pounds of torque. It made peak power, as you can see here, at 5,600 RPM, which is a little bit higher than a comparable 5.3 liter and certainly like a six liter. And you can take a look at the, the torque curve here. We ran it down to 3,000 RPM here, and, and this would be more telling had we run it even lower than this. But here's what happened when we installed a Brian Tooley Racing stage two turbo cam because this was in preparation for running a turbo on this thing so because we were running a turbo we ran a turbo cam but as we know every cam is a turbo cam and honestly that this one works well and makes lots of power but even a cam like this it's fairly mild it's only a stage two and i'll go ahead and put the specs up here on the brian Tully stage two cam but it is a 605 598 lift split obviously much bigger than the factory uh, lr4 camshaft 
226, 231, and a 113 degree lobe separation angle. But what I want you to notice is it picked up a lot of power out at the top, which we expect it would. This was over 400 horsepower. It made 413 or 14 horsepower. It made peak torque of 413.8 horsepower out at 6,600 RPM. So we had shifted the uh, where we made peak power by 1,000 RPM. And although that's good and it makes the thing want to rev, you see we ran it all the way out to 7,000 RPM. So just a cam and valve springs allowed this junkyard motor. We had a forged piston in it, but it would, would have done it with a flat top, a factory flat top. Just wants to keep revving. <laughs> that's the thing with the 4.8. But as we see down here below 3,700 RPM, we started to lose torque. And this is where gearing and converter will really come into play on the 4.8 liter. Because, yeah, we picked up a lot of power. Most of the gain was past 4,500 RPM on a cam like this on a 4.8 liter. And we also lost power down low. So what you want to do with a 4.8 liter is get this thing up in the RPM range. And the way that you do that is with a higher stall speed converter and different gearing so that you could take advantage of now what the 4.8 liter of the RPM range where this thing really wants to run. So a 4.8 liter with almost any kind of cam is going to run, it's going to want to storm hard on the big end, but you need to take care of the bottom part with gears and converter. Okay guys, let's take a look at another example on our 4.8 liter of why that combination probably would do well with a higher stall speed converter and or different gears to push the RPM up on the 4.8 where it really wants to make power. So we have again our stock combination. Uh, this was actually the same motor. We made 336 horsepower and 345 foot pounds. It had a set of long tube headers on it and uh, truck intake manifold stock heads. You know, the only thing it had on it were springs basically and it had the JE4 pistons in it that we always run. So here's what happened when we installed a aftermarket camshaft. This was a Crane 224 cam, and I'll go ahead and put the specs up here, but basically it's the 224, 232 that I've run a lot, 590 lift. And we'll go ahead and put this full specs up here, but what, what I want you to do is take a look at, just like with the previous cam, we ran the Brian Tooley Racing uh, Stage 2 Turbo Cam, similar kind of specs, that one was 226, this is 224. But as you can see, we only ran this thing to 6,800, but that's where it made peak power. And so it would continue on to want to make peak power out at 7,000 RPM, despite the fact that it still had, it basically had headers and a cam. All the, the other stuff was stock. We would eventually run this thing with different uh, intake manifolds and different uh, cylinder heads, and we're, we ran it with boost also, and it works very well. But again, if you take a look and you can see that really it's past 4,500 RPM, where especially a sizable cam like this where you really start to make power and it, and it did pick up a lot of power i mean it went from 414 horsepower or four, 336 to 414 horsepower so those are some big gains it's especially you know charging on the big end <laughs> like there's no tomorrow but if we look down here below 4000 rpm we see the bigger cam compared to the stock cam lost quite a bit of torque and this is the problem, uh, and this is also becomes a problem as I'll, I'll show you what happened when we put a turbo on it, and it all looks fantastic and wonderful when you add boost, like it always does when you add boost, but you also have to consider boost response when you're looking at these cam changes, and if you lose a bunch of power down low, it also could translate into softer boost response and less power, but if we see a power loss down at the lower engine speeds, we definitely want to start thinking things like a higher stall speed converter and or more gears. And the gears are important, especially for with some of these trucks that have big tires on them and stuff, because you're changing the gearing by putting a bigger tire and wheel package on there. And then you need to change the rear gear to kind of offset that. And everything that you can do to push the stall speed up and then the RPM up where you can take advantage of what a cam 4.8 liter really has to offer because there's almost nothing that you can do short of adding boost that's going to add a bunch of like low speed torque and especially down at 2000 rpm it's very very difficult to get big gains like at two or even 2500 
2000 or 2500 RPM on a 4.8 liter to show major torque gains there without boost. So here's what happened. I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, obviously the camshaft's working very well, charging really hard on the big end. Here's what happened when we added a turbo to this combination. It made over 650 horsepower at very low boost. And it even had power down to 3000 or 3100 RPM. But again, remember on the engine dyno, we kind of park this thing at a stationary load and then release it, which is something that you would never see on the dyno. So even with a turbo on this kind of application, unless you chose a really small, super responsive one, you'd be better off with a smaller cam and again, <laughs> a higher stall speed converter and or gears on your 4.8. Let's get to the conclusion. Okay, guys, what's the takeaway on this video? Well, the little 4.8 liter, which we know works very well, and especially if you turbocharge it and rev it to the moon, it makes lots of power and you can go really fast with it. We've seen that time and time again. And guys have used it over and over in lots of different applications and it works very well, but it's not without its faults. It is the smallest of the engine family. And the problem is that it doesn't make the torque that the bigger motors make because, hey, cubic inches make more torque that's not unusual and also because it is smaller when we do start making modifications to the 4.8 liter and we pick up lots of power on top because we honestly do and this thing can support good power even with the stock heads because it's a small displacement motor but the problem is down at the very low rpm ranges it's just not very responsive it's very hard to get big gains in low speed torque with the 4.8 liter. It already has a long runner intake manifold and it already has pretty good cylinder heads. The camshaft even relatively speaking is slightly bigger on the 4.8 than it is on the 5.3 liter. And if we put a good size cam in the 4.8 liter, as we saw, it wants to make a lot of power. We got good power gains, but they wanted to happen at a fairly high engine speed. I mean, we're talking beyond 6,500 RPM for a reasonable kind of street strip cam. The problem is when you do get those big power gains, you lose a lot of power down low. And the way to make that up is, is with, with boost. Yeah, you can definitely do that. But also the way to make it up for lots of naturally aspirated guys and boosted guys is to maybe go with a slightly smaller cam and or put a high stall speed converter in there or gearing so you can take advantage and run the motor out where it's making power. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. Don't worry, 4.8 later, guys. I still love it. Thanks for watching.